Today we're going to be looking at the nightclub safe, which has quickly become one of the best and most reliable passive money methods in GTA Online. It revolves around the popularity level of your nightclub, and prior to the recent Criminal Enterprises DLC, the effort involved was somewhat extensive, and it certainly pushed it outside the realms of passive income. But that's all changed with the latest update, and things have been made a lot easier thanks to a couple of quick and simple new methods for keeping your nightclub maintained. As I mentioned before, you earn money through the popularity of your nightclub. Keep that maintained, and your safe will fill up with $50,000 every in-game day, or 48 minutes real-time. The popularity of your nightclub, which is shown in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, will decrease by 5% every time that 48 minute mark hits. And once that's happened twice, your profits will start to go down. So that means you will need to do a promotion mission roughly once every one and a half hours to maintain that 50k profit margin. To keep popularity management to a minimum, you might also want to consider making an upgrade to your nightclub as well. Available on your computer, just come down to upgrades and you'll be presented with this screen. Now the best thing you can possibly do in regards to popularity is buy the staffing upgrade, which will literally halve your daily promotion requirements and make this passive money method even easier than it already is. Whether you choose to do that or not, you will still need to occasionally maintain your popularity. One method involves the OG promotion missions, which can be quite slow but are almost always available. To get started, just log back onto the computer in your office and select Promote Club under the Nightclub Management tab. There's quite a variety of promotion missions available, ranging in difficulty, but none of them will give you too much trouble. Some of them you'll just need to fly a blimp or a helicopter to promote music or drop flyers. Other times you might need to collect some stolen supplies from some thugs and drive them back to the nightclub. But I mean, they're all pretty straightforward and shouldn't take more than a few minutes in most situations. If you'd rather not travel all the way back to your nightclub every time you want to check something, you do also have the option of calling Tony Prince, where you can view your current popularity and also launch a promotion mission on the fly. As I mentioned before though, these club management missions can be quite time consuming and should really only be used as a backstop for when you can't engage with the two new popularity methods that were added in the recent update. They both revolve around you getting to play the role of bouncer, where you get to remove undesirables from your club. When one of these becomes available, you'll get a message from Marcel who will give you a briefing on all the details. But ultimately, you just need to go to the blue marker on your minimap. There are two types of encounters you can find. One involves regular patrons such as this, who will be given the standard treatment that I think a lot of us have probably experienced on our more colourful nights out. They'll just get kicked to the curb and that's that. It really couldn't be simpler. And honestly, the payoff is insane. It actually gives you as much popularity as doing one of the missions we just looked at. So definitely keep an eye out for those. In my experience, they seem to be more common when you're at low to medium popularity and can often be a nice little boost to get you back where you need to be. When I had higher popularity, I seemed to get more of these encounters, which more or less revolves around the same premise. Marcel will send you a text and an icon will pop up on your map just like before, although this time it will be a VIP and oh boy do they end up in some spots. This cheeky bastard actually had the nerve to go and have a kip in my office, and then he expects me to drive him home. This game sometimes, man, like why is that my responsibility? I just want to shuck people out of my nightclub, you know? In all honesty, I don't mind the idea. It's more just the associated mission. It's where you have to drive them home, but you can't drive too fast or crash into anything because they freak out and you fail once the bar gets full. The first time I tried this, it wasn't too bad. I only had to drive to the other side of the city. This time though, I had to go all the way out to bloody sandy shores, which isn't too bad under normal circumstances, but having to drive at 20 miles an hour the whole way kind of puts a different spin on things. I mean, the mission is easy at least, but it's very tedious. You do get the same sort of popularity benefits as you do for the other interaction though, so it's not too bad. The best ones by far though are definitely the normal patrons that only require you to chuck them outside instead of driving them home. They'll be represented by a little blue dot, and the VIPs are represented with a person symbol. Both mission types will spawn inside your nightclub once every 30 to 60 real life minutes. It tends to vary depending on how long you stay in each session and the type of activities you engage with during that time. You shouldn't really find it too difficult squeezing it into your routine though. You have to stop by your nightclub every couple of hours anyway. The safe only has a capacity of $250,000, and once it fills up, it stops generating income. When it's full, you'll notice both the money symbol and cash balance will be displayed in red, and at that point you'll want to be sure you empty it so that it continues to make money. 
and when you come in to check the safe, you will almost always be presented with one of the eject patron missions as well. So after you've collected your cash, be sure to go and remove the undesirable from your club and boost that popularity while you're at it. And yeah, it really is that simple. Maintain your promotion level every one and a half to two hours using any of the methods shown earlier, and then simply collect your cash from the nightclub safe on a regular basis to avoid it filling up. If you found the video useful, please help it to be seen by more people by tapping the thumbs up button down below. And if you're new to the content, do think about subscribing as well. I'm a Rockstar Games exclusive channel and I cover all things GTA Online. Until we meet again, you bunch of legends. I am Red Knight Trades and I'll catch you on the next one.